thank you, thank you so much for coming. Um, it was a very long day for those that joined since 10 a.m. We actually had an event this morning for those that arrived called Virtual Productions Gathering, which was a industry-focused conference about virtual productions. Uh, but now we're going to be starting our second part of the event, which is the XR stage or XR collaborative stage launch or inaugural. Um, it has been a very long process with the support of a lot of people to get where we are. Um, we started about a year ago with creating some content, uh, creating some extracurricular activities to, with our students, and we are able to get where we are today with the help of a lot of people. And I would like to obviously shout out to Rue Visual, which allows us to actually build and set up this amazing XR um, panels uh, that allows us to actually do amazing stuff. Uh, we're going to be doing a, a small things here uh, today. We're going to be starting with introducing a bit to what this space is going to be. Uh, afterwards, we're going to have a small performance. And uh, afterwards, we're going to be having the official uh, cutting the ribbon um, by our executive academy and uh, Rue Visual. Um, so that's basically the plan, and hopefully afterwards we can get some drinks and network and talk and have a lot of fun. Thank you very much. So I would like to pass the word to my colleague, Steve Payne, which is going to be talking about what we're going to be using this stage for. Okay, thanks, Carlos. Um, so the XR Collaborative stage, um, they, they say that uh, innovation comes between different two different industries. And in the Academy for Games and Media, we have two programs. We've got creative business and we have games. The XR stage comes between those two, and uh, it's been a perfect fit for us. It's been a perfect fit for our Academy. We see we're very excited about using it, but we're, we're also very excited to have our colleagues from other academies use it as well. Uh, the XR collaborative stage, we call it the collaborative stage because we foresee it as a space for live events. We see it as a, a space for uh, virtual tours. We see it as a space for eSports. So there's so many possibilities uh, for, for different activities. And we invite our colleagues from the other academies to liaise with us, to come to us with their ideas, and we will make it work for them. And that's it. Joey, do you mind start showing? So what Joey is going to be showing is a video that you created with already our students using the space. Thank you. It seems that we lost sound. So what we're showing there is actually a production that we're actually doing with our media and game students. It's one of the first times actually those two programs using their educational tracks, they actually working together in a single project, which they actually meet their uh, both uh, their their skill sets and knowledge, both in creating film productions uh, and game content and work in one single way. Um, the we've been describing how useful this is uh, for both programs to work together and how innovative and how important the communication skills are there. So I also would like to introduce you to the next part of the show, 
which is a live performance. So in this performance, what you're going to have is um, a work from our students from last year that we converted to do this live performance. Um, is still something that is quite new. I, I personally never saw it, which we're going to have a combination of our screen combined with live dancing and performance and music. At the same time, we're going to actually DJ, but not DJ the music. We're going to DJ the effects going to be seen on screen. Uh, it's a new technology, so it might have some mis mishaps, but I hope you really have some fun. Thank you very much, and please enjoy our student work combined with ours. Mm -hmm. Cue the music. Mm -hmm. He says murder, he says. Every time they kiss, he says murder, he says. At a time like this, he says murder, he says. Is that the language of love? Baby, this time it's real. Solid, he says. Takes her in his arms, he says. Solid, he says. Meaning all the charms, he says. Solid, he says. Is that the language of love? He says, hep, hep with helium. Now, baby, we're cooking. And other expressions to it. We're in the groove, and the groove is good looking. Sounds like his uppers don't fit. He says, murder, he says. Every time they kiss, he says, murder, he says. Keep it up like this, he says, murder, he says. In that impossible tone, brings nobody's murder but his own. <laughs>
Thank you very much, Rene Lisa. And also applause for Kenny, which is our VJ in duty. Thank you so much. Um, uh, I would like to thank everybody again to come, and maybe we can set up. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to invite here Yurit, Nico from our executive board, but also Rolf, Rolof, sorry, yes, to come over here. Ultimately, this, these are the persons that made all this happen uh, and this possible. So I'm going to pass too fast. I'm going to pass the mic to them. What are we going to do with this, uh, this one? To cut it or to jump over it? So we, uh, or we can do limbo dancing. Limbo? No, we would spare that. Uh, they're all. Can you hear me? Yeah? Okay. You can hear me without a mic, so this doesn't matter. Yeah? Okay. What? Closer, like this. There we go. Huh? Welcome, everybody, on this uh, joyful and uh, sunny day. I could not have imagined a better day for the grand opening of our XR collaborative uh, stage. And um, yeah, BUAS, BUAS is, is more than a University of Applied Sciences. BUAS is a University of Applied Sciences Plus. And this XR stage embodies that plus for three reasons. Because it enables it stimulates and it strengthens. And first of all, and I think first and foremost, it enables our students to work with cutting edge techniques. So they become, can become self-directing professionals. And secondly, important as well, it stimulates our professors, our researchers to work together and to find out new techniques and to really do applied research. And we are looking forward to the results, also together with MindLab, for example, and the DigiReal project of Professor Igor. So looking forward to that as well. And finally, it strengthens. It strengthens the position of BUAS in the field of media, of games, entertainment, and also being in a collaborative stage, also the other domains of BUAS. So my colleague, my dear colleague, Nico, and myself. And Nico, you're really thinking about limbo dancing here, right? Or, uh, huh? yeah, <laughs> okay. Now we're looking forward to see much more of it already. We have seen a couple of the examples, what it is able to, and with a little bit of help also, the, the sound will be up to speed, but then we are working on that. And I saw Carlos and Steven thinking, ah, the sound, but we, we will get there, right? It's an example of falling forwards, so we will get there. And talking about this too, it's actually because of these two that we are here today with this amazing XR stage. Because a bit more than a year ago, they came to us, in a, with the, still was within COVID, so we had a digital meeting, a Teams meeting, and they said, we have a cunning plan. And together with uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce Hancock, who was there, the previous director of AGM, and later on uh, our own Robbie, Robbie Grigg, they said, this is something special. And after that, uh, Nico and I, we had a, a meeting and we have more. We said, let's do it because we got a lot of cunning plans, but we thought you have cunning plans and real cunning plans. And this was a real cunning plan. And in a bit more than a year, this was established with help of Rulof and his crew. And we had the great pleasure of meeting you a couple of times. And it was really a team effort. So. Thanks for that. And a round of applause for these two amazing, three amazing persons, right now. This, this is what innovation looks like, guys. And we are looking forward to work on this together. And without any further ado, uh, Rudolf, do you want to say some words? Thank 
me just say a big uh, thank you to all of you and uh, it seems you already used the scissors and cut all the grass in front of my feet so there's not too much to say but uh, i think as a global player official is very proud to have this uh, connection with the buas here in our own country so we still have this orange feeling and i think in our own country we should do something extra and uh, we are very pleased to uh, to have this uh, this perfect installation here uh, it's it will benefit for us but most of all it will benefit uh, all the students who can learn something and i hope that what they learn they can teach us again so we can improve our products and make better products for the virtual reality world so thank you Most of you know that uh, I like to do things and not to have many words, so let's do it. <laughs>